five things you can do to elevate your property so it'll sell quickly so that you can be a bad mother flipper like me. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. Um, honey, that was a little forced. Okay. Well, welcome to Flip the Script Home Edition. I am your host, Sammy Yacoub, and each week I show you the process and the progress of every single house that I am flipping. Wow. But this week's a little bit different. I'm gonna give you some tips on what you can do to elevate your property so that it's gonna sell quickly. These are really my top five. So let's get started with the first one, number five. So the first thing that I love to do when I am flipping a home or getting a home ready put on the market is lighting. Have you ever like walked into a house for a showing and it's like really dark and dingy because it just has not been updated in a long time. One of the things I love to do is add recessed lighting throughout the house. Now, granted, if your house is a ranch, it is a lot easier to do that because you can just pop up in the attic and you know really drop them in. But what I love about these particular recessed lights that I put in is that they are super thin. Now, why is that like a cool thing. Well, the thing is, is that then it allows me to have perfect symmetry in a ceiling versus just having to go and, uh, you know, put it wherever, you know, the joist will allow me to. So like, why is that like cool? Well, it's cool because these lights are so thin that even if there is a ceiling joist that's right there, you're able to still fit that in and really focus on the symmetry of the light. And as you can see, this totally brightens up the space. It can make a old house feel brand new with just a little touch of lighting. But maybe you're thinking to yourself, I don't think that I could actually afford to put recessed lighting in there. Well, you'd be surprised, number one, I will say this, it doesn't cost as much as you think it is. I get these lights off of Amazon, uh, really just a few hundred dollars for uh, a pack of them. And then to have an electrician run all the wiring stuff, you know, it's really not that expensive. But if you don't wanna do something so labor intensive, another thing that you can do is add some really cool uh, modern light fixtures to your house that will help brighten up a space as well. I'm gonna give you an example of a couple of different things that look super cool. Like this is one of my favorite uh, light fixtures that I've put into a house recently. I actually have this light in my own home as well. And you'd be surprised, something that looks really artistic and cool and modern, it actually doesn't cost that much. I bought that light off of Wayfair for like $80, right? And there's so many of the ones that I get that look really unique that I'll find on Amazon or Wayfair or these cool obscure websites that just have these really awesome looking lights and they become the statement piece of the home. So lighting is absolutely paramount for getting your house ready to sell quickly. All right, number four. So this one is actually pretty simple, but it makes a huge difference. We're gonna talk about painting. I think it is very important for a fresh coat of paint on your house before you list it because it doesn't look like you've been living there. Take this wall for instance. If someone was selling this house after they'd been living here for five, 10 years, they probably have nicks all along the walls from the chairs bumping, maybe food was splashing, maybe you have children and they got spaghetti sauce. Not just a wash, but a paint really makes it look fresh, brand new, nicer for the buyer who's walking through for the first time. Another thing you can refresh really easily with just a coat of paint is your tub. So like in this house, we hired our tub guy, that's what we call him all the time, tub guy comes in and whether you have a full surround or you've got tile, he will use a special acrylic paint for tile and it looks brand new just with a coat of paint. There's no stains, there's no mildew marks. It's fresh, it looks like you put in a brand new tub. Okay, number three, declutter. This was something that I used to tell my clients when I was listing their home that was absolutely paramount. For example, your countertops. Maybe sometimes you have like a smaller kitchen and usually, let's just be honest, we put so much stuff on our countertops. You might have microwaves, you might have just stuff that builds up. Sometimes at my house, they would have just like mail and junk and this is usually my fault because my wife will put it out for me and then I just leave it there. Um, sorry if I haven't paid uh, a, a cell phone bill or maybe a water bill in a while. I will get to it. It's just that I haven't looked at it yet. But anyways, so it's really big because even if you have a smaller space, when you declutter, it looks like you've got so much countertop space 
to work with, which is really, really good. The same is true for like your different areas of your house as well. If we're looking at like a living room, I mean, this is super clean right now, right? Does your living room look like this? I can be honest with you, mine doesn't. But when you are getting ready to sell your home, it's so important to make sure that the space is clean because it really is putting your best foot forward. Number two, we're gonna talk about brand new appliances. And I know what you're thinking, Laura, that is a huge thing. I'm not investing $10,000 in brand new appliances just to sell my house. Actually, you'd be surprised. We got all these brand new Whirlpool appliances, including a dishwasher, and we spent under $2,500 in this kitchen. And that includes a gas range, folks, which in itself is a selling point, am I right? So, and you wanna go with stainless steel. It is still modern, it is still the best choice. It looks clean, it elevates the space. It kind of makes it look more expensive. When you have just plain white, it looks cheap and kind of outdated. But um, you can get these stainless steel appliances, look for a good deal, and you're really not gonna break the bank putting this in. And it's very appealing to buyers. They're coming in, they're looking in the fridge. They don't smell your old, stuff that's been sitting in here for a month, you know, like rotting spinach. Does everybody have rotting spinach in their fruit and their veggie drawer? <laughs> uh, maybe just me. Um, so definitely invest in the new appliances. It won't cost you as much as you think. And number one, drum roll please. That's my symbol. Staging, okay. So this one might seem a little just too much for you, but I'm telling you, it is so, so worth it. I believe that staging a home, especially if it's vacant, um, is so, so good because it helps a buyer visualize what a space could look like. I mean, like take a look at this living room. When we first were done with this project, it was just a big empty room. And so it's hard to visualize where would I put my furniture? How am I gonna do all of this? But when you go ahead and you have a staging company, or maybe just even with your own furniture, it doesn't have to be that you hire somebody, but I do all the time uh, because they just have such a good, good touch. My girls, Steph and Shelly, they do a wonderful job all of the time. And what it does is it just helps the buyer see this is what this space could look like. So I'm telling you, and I promise you, if you stage it and you have those sweet professional photos taken, that is going to make that thing sell oh so fast. Okay, so here's the deal. If you follow those five things, now listen, there's more, maybe there'll be future videos as well, but we promise you, if you follow those five things, you are gonna sell your property pretty quick, right babe? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Listen, why don't you like, share, and subscribe so you can continue to witness our little love story with ourselves and real estate and, what? Ourselves and real estate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you can see the love that we share between each other as I, isn't this romantic, everyone? Yeah. How I'm just like playing with our hair. You wanna see what you would look like with hair? This is what I look like with hair. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? And blonde highlights. <laughs> I look like a guy from like an emo band in the, like, Cause I just wanna break it down so badly. <laughs> right? <laughs> We've gone so far off track. Sell a house quickly with these five tips. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.